Thank you so very, very much for being here this morning. Uh, we are so happy and so pleased and excited about what is to occur because of your participation in the Healthcare for Child Care program. It's a program that's designed, as you very well know, for health, um, for employees that work in child development centers, which we all hold very close to our hearts because we want our babies to be healthy and strong and grow into meaningful and productive citizens. But most importantly, those who work with them, we want to make sure that they stay healthy and strong. So this is a program, first year up off the ground. You're on the precipice of something big, something about ready to happen. So we're very, very happy uh, that you're here this morning. So today is designed to give you more information about health care for child care, to talk more about your roles and responsibilities, because you are now what I call my HC for CC Army. You're the army that's going to go marching out into the universe, this universe happens to be in the Washington DC area, and show people, tell people what health care for child care is all about and how important it is for us as a people to have good health insurance so we can stay healthy, hopefully wealthy, and strong. So with that, I'm going to ask um, Jen Beeson to come up and introduce you to our team that's here today. Our director is on her way. And then we have a little icebreaker so we can get to know who you are. So this is two days of learning and fun. And as my friend LaDawn would say, yes, yes. Y'all have to say yes, yes. So that's the new thing. When I say something, you got to say yes, yes. OK, so to make sure that you you up and moving around, when I say health care, you say child care, OK? But you got to stand up. When I say health care, you say? Uh-uh, 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 no, 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 no. A little more energy here, just a wee bit more energy. When I say health care, you say? Sit down, quick. Health care. Health care. When I say health care, you say? Health care. Health care. Okay, that was okay, but we're, I, know, <laughs> I know you got to wake up this morning, but um, we want to start this uh, two-day training off in a very, very solid way, and so that you would know who's in the room. So, Jen, when you come up and introduce the Healthcare for Child Care team on our side, and then we're going to hear from you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Wharton Boyd. You all know Linda. Um, many of you have met me before. My name is Jen Beeson. I'm the Director of Marketplace Operations for HBX. I don't know if our uh, Executive Director will be coming, but when, if she does, you'll, many of you ha will have seen Mila Kaufman. We're going to do a get-to-know-you icebreaker exercise, but first I want to introduce the team at HBX. You'll see us today. We're kind of clumped over here, but later in the day, we're going to mix it up with you all. So starting right here in green, Lori Wilkerson is in our council's office, and Brian Flowers is our council, chief council. Jonathan Willingham is senior a person. He's a good person to know. <laughs> He's a good person to know, so he, he helps coordinate us. Antonio Guernica, many of you have met Antonio. He has been... He's going to talk about some of his experiences out meeting with the child care centers. He and his folks have been knocking on doors. In the back corner, Kishan, wave. Hi. Sorry. Danika. Tawana. This is our intern, India. She's new. And Fumi. And many of you have met some of those people as well. So. Um, some people who are not here, Christian, it, Christian Naro, who has talked to a lot of you and is fantastic, is traveling through Europe with his mom and his husband, so he's having a great time. Um, and Kelly Scott is another enrollment specialist. She'll be walking in the door. She has a very long commute, so she'll be here later this morning. That is our team. Grab any of us throughout the day. We can help to answer your questions. Sometimes we will grab each other because we don't all of us know all the aspects that we need to. That's why there's so many of us. Now I'm going to turn it over to Mila Kaufman, who is the Executive Director of the DC Health Benefit Exchange Authority. Good morning, everyone. Wow, 
you've had enough coffee. Thank you. Usually I have to say I can't hear you. Um, but anyway, so um, first I'd like to say thank you for being here with us this morning. And first, thank you to the great HBX team. Raise your hands who helped put this together, this two-day worth of training together. Yay! Thank you. And then I'd also like to thank our Healthcare for Child Care Advisory Council. Uh, Kathy is the chairwoman, Kathy. And then we have several members. I see Sia and Teresa and Maurice and Jeff. And did I miss anyone? Hakeem. Did I miss anyone else? OK, so thank you for all of your advice and input since we went down this path. Um, and so this is our inaugural Health Care for Child grantee orientation. And I'm really excited to have all of you as our partners. Um, I want to say a couple of things about the importance of the work that you'll be doing to help us. Uh, we've made great progress to date, our team, uh, with some help from you and, and some help from many of your colleagues uh, around the district. So I'm very proud of the fact that about half of our Aussie uh, licensed centers and homes who've enrolled in healthcare for childcare, about half of them didn't offer coverage before. So that's huge. I'm proud of that progress. I'm also very proud of the fact that our focus from day one has been to make sure that these resources reach the right populations and communities that sometimes get left behind are not left behind. So I'm really proud that in Ward 7 and 8 uh, through April, we had 100% enrollment either into Medicaid coverage or into health care for child care coverage for residents who were eligible. That's 100%. <laughs> I'm also very proud that in Ward 5, we are at about uh, uh, close to 65%, uh, which is great. Now, we still have a ways to go. We want to get to 100% everywhere, every eligible worker and every eligible employer. We want to get to 100% coverage, whether it's through health care for child care, or with Medicaid coverage or other coverage they may have. We just want to see 100% covered. So why is that important? Health insurance is really important. You know that, right? All of you know that. Uh, it gives you access to a life-saving uh, treatment. Uh, or if you're sick, it gets you to a doctor. Um, but it's also important for your well-being and dignity and financial security. And I'll, I'll just share a quick story why uh, it's so important to me and the entire team to get to 100% coverage. So some of you know this, and some of my team members have heard me talk about this. Certainly, um, Linda has heard me talk about it. Um, so before coming here uh, uh, in 2013, in my current role, um, I'm aging myself. I'm really, I just turned 19 actually. <laughs> now, 21 because I also like to drink. <laughs> um, so, um, before um, here, I was in Maine. I was superintendent of insurance in Maine for about three and a half years. And I uh, went all over the state to hold hearings and um, to do events. So I met one young woman at one of the events. Um, and she told me her story. Uh, she uh, was in her 20s. We'll call her Mary, mostly because I actually can't remember her name. But let's say it's Mary. Um, and she was in her 20s, and she said when her baby got sick, she called 911. Uh, when the ambulance came, they asked her if she w had health insurance. And she said no. So they were willing to take her baby in the ambulance to the emergency room. But because she didn't have that magic health insurance card, they did not allow her to be in the ambulance with her baby. 
So by the time she got to the hospital, her baby passed away. And so imagine the indignity of not being able to be with your baby in the last breaths that your baby was taking. So that's what being uninsured looks like in America. And that is why we need to get to 100% coverage rate for health care for child care population. Because the indignity of being uninsured is unacceptable. So that's why you're all here, and that's why we do what we do. And with your help, I know we will get to 100% coverage for health care for child care population. So thank you. So with that, Lori is going to do an icebreaker. Okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay, so this is the way this icebreaker is going to go. I'm gonna pass out cards to every person, and on the card at the top, there is a word. For example, the word is, let's say the word is outside. It will be in the, at the top in bold, and then the, let, the words underneath are words that you can't say. What you need to do is find the person that has your matching word. So I'm gonna pass the words out through the room. And then once you find that person, you find one thing that you and that person have in common because our commonalities join us. Okay? Everyone good? Okay. Okay, so now everyone has a card, so you need to get up and find your match. You can't say your word or any of the words on your card while trying to find the person that has your matching card. <laughs> and all of the words are in some way connected to healthcare for childcare. <laughs> So you have to say other words. So oh, let me see. Oh, so it's kind of it's, taboo. It's think of taboo. If you've ever played taboo, think of that. <laughs> to all the pairs, and I want you to report out on the thing that you were able to find that you had in common. So I'll go first for um, Tawana and I. So we found that the things we. Are we ready to, um, has everyone found the things that you have in common with your pair? Yes, okay. Okay, perfect. So Tawana is gonna say what her and I have in common. So we have two things in common. Um, one of the things we both started, um, Lori Wilson. Okay, so what I have in common with Lori Wilson is that we both started with um, HBX in 2022, she, uh, November for her and September for me, and also we love crabs, seafood. Hi everyone, I'm Danika Wilson and I have India Clark as my pair today. Uh, two things we have in common. We like to park without paying. So we had to go and pay, we had to go and pay for our parking today. And then um, she's a Pisces, I'm a Pisces, so yay. And we're college graduates, so. So good morning, everybody. Um, what we have in common, it is that we both are immigrants and uh, we both work for Spanish speakers. Um, Educators, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> oh, let me see. Okay. You have to introduce yourself, so say your name. Okay, sorry. Um, my name is Blanca, and I work for the Multicultural Spanish Speaking Providers Association, I'm the outreach coordinator, and yeah, I'm so happy to be here and start this project with you guys. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Hilda. I work with Spaces in Action and I uh, focus on outreach in the Spanish community. Good morning. My name is Denise Rogers and this is DeAndre. Um, 
We both are DC residents. We, uh, we both love working with children, having passion for children. Uh, what else? What else, DeAndre? Um, we were both here early. Yeah, we, we, were, we, <laughs> we was here, here very early. early. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, we, we was here early yeah. to come and sit, uh, to join in. Who else? And we love children. We both found out we love children. Did you want to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, DeAndre Phillips. I am the Director of Development at the Community Educational Research Group. We are ready. So <laughs> I'm Fumi. This is Kishin. We're both DC HealthLink employees. Um, we both actually are talkers. That's probably we weren't paying attention to what was happening. And then we're also people persons, yeah. pleaser. No, I won't say please. People, no. people. People, people. <laughs> Do you want to introduce yourself? Or you oh. need to? I'm Kishin Putta with DC HealthLink. Uh, I met all of you earlier, and uh, welcome. Good morning, Akeem Ma'at, uh, Collaboration Advocacy Director for DC Early Learning Collaborative. Uh, Jeff and I had compliance, and um, we're both huge uh, advocates and um, support the DC Early Learning Collaborative. Uh, we both like to certainly show up a little sharp for a meeting, so you know, typically we got a, a blazer on, uh, and we both like to travel and uh, have a little extra drink. Uh, so yeah, but he likes shots. I like tequila, and we like to party. And we, and we like to party a little bit. So my name is Jeff Credit from Community Educational Research Group. Thank you. Uh, so my name is Lindsay Askew. This is Ian. Sorry, Ian, what's your last name? Sorry? Uh, so Ian Whittington. Uh, I am the Assistant Director of Development at the Community Educational Research Group. Uh, Ian and I are uh, both born and raised in Virginia, uh, but we both now currently live in Maryland. Uh, and are both happy to work here in DC. So we're, we're true DMV natives. Uh, yeah, I was slightly on time. <laughs> Ian was very early. Um, and again, my name is Ian Whittington and I work for DC AYC. My name is Philip, Philip Potato, work with Spaces in Action. Met my friend Maurice here. And we both, in addition to both wearing glasses, we both love being outdoors uh, in our gardens, among other places. I'm Maurice Sykes with DC Early Learning Collaborative. Hi, how are we all doing? I'm TJ, equity organizer with Spaces in Action, and this is Tadesia. Um, we both, what was that again? Oh, we both like uh, the, move, the show uh, Money Heist on Netflix. <laughs> really, really good. Um, and we both are excited to see each other as well. We've pretty much seen each other virtual for a long time. Great. Good morning, Teresa Aspinwall, and it's really nice to see TJ in person. He is working on his Spanish, and it's Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My name is Carissa. I work with uh, Spaces in Action. This is Sia over here. Um, we found each other first. We were lucky. We got our uh, first person we met up with. Uh, we both have one daughter. Um, we also both really enjoy baking. Um, yeah, and she loves to travel, and I, I aspire to travel as much as she has. And I'm Sia Barbara Kamara with the DC Early Learning Collaborative. Good morning, I'm Latanya Lashley. I'm from Community Educational Research Group. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kathy. Do our probation though, not conversation. We both like denim. Yep. <laughs> we both like sneakers. We're both moms of sons. We say, we talk a lot. We're both implants. She's from New Orleans. I'm from Cleveland. What else do we? We talked a lot. We talk, yeah, we talk. You live in Laurel. I used to live in Laurel. She used to live in Laurel. And, and we've both been here since the 90s. That's right. I'm sorry. We've both been here since the 90s. Uh, we're both moms of sons, denim, sneakers, and implants. Go and ahead. you're a Virgo. I'm a Scorpio. Which we're, means we're compatible. We're compatible. Her husband's a Virgo. <laughs> same birthday. Woo. Yep. My husband is a Virgo, and they have the same birthday. So, <laughs> we, so we have a lot in common. Yep. And we both like to eat. Love to eat. 
And I'm Kathy Hallowell Makel, the Executive Director at the District of Columbia Association for the Education of Young Children. I know that's very long, so we also go by DCAEYC. I am Jen Beeson with HBX, and this is the person I have something in common with. Hi, I'm Jonathan Willingham, and we both like sushi. And we also both work at HBX, and we work in the same hallway, and we also talk every <laughs> single day. All of that is true. Uh, Antonio, Brian? Yeah. Okay, sure. Uh, my name's Antonio Garnica, and uh, you know what? Uh, uh, Brian, uh, uh, Brian is, 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 uh, was, was my partner, and from the, you know, from the, from the second, we saw, I said, we, what, what are we? Well, what do we have in common? We're two young, vital young men in the prime <laughs> of life, you know? I mean, that's <laughs> so uh, we also uh, both work at, uh, at uh, DC Health Link, and uh, actually I found out that, uh, that Brian is a big fan of uh, Bob Marley, and uh, I share that with him as well. Oh, Hello, everybody. My name is Deja Williams. And I'm Destiny. And we both are organizers with Spaces in Action. Um, Destiny and I actually have a lot in common. We graduated from the same college and the same major in the same year, Trinity Washington University. Um, and we're also both the oldest sisters, well, the big sisters. And we both just discovered, though, that we both like, um, like, like, like realistic fiction, like vampire, like, well, supernatural. <laughs> supernatural, uh, like, um, yeah, like Twilight, Charmed, all that type of stuff. And so we discovered we were into that around the same time growing up. So, yeah. Hi. I'm Bev Jackson. My friend is LaDawn Love. And we had uh, similar cards. And we both love advocacy. Oh, I'm the Early Learning Collaborative. And I'm LaDawn Love with Spaces in Action, also known as SIA. And where's Lori? And that is it. Thank you, everybody, for playing my game and getting to know each other. So now we're all warmed up and ready to absorb the information of the day. Thank you, Mila. OK, where's my army? Raise your hand, army, the Health Care for Child Care Army. Okay, act like you know who you are now. You, you're my army, you're my army. When I say healthcare, you say? Healthcare. 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 Okay, thank you. So as we uh, move throughout th this morning, I want you to feel as comfortable as possible. If you have any questions during the day, ask any team member from HBX, and we will try to get you um, the answers that you need. And most of all, see that girl back there? Her name is Danica. Stand up. Y'all go to her, too. <laughs> go to Danica and, and, uh, with your questions. Um, I wanted to just do a few housekeeping issues. OK, so we, we, we're coming together to learn from each other and to gather information. So that means we have to have a few ground rules, right? OK, can somebody tell me one ground rule we must have? Come on, stand up. Okay, not talking while others are talking. Oh, active listening. Okay, she got the big time word, active listening. Okay. <laughs> okay, anything else? Yes. Okay, let's take a moment and put the phone on vibrate. If it ain't God calling you, don't answer. Okay. <laughs> Any other ground rules? I got one. We all must participate, OK? And although we may have differences in opinion, we should always respect what somebody else is saying. Anything else? OK, we're going to try to remember all those ground rules as we interact throughout the day. OK, now, second thing. In your bags, you had a little registration bag, right? What's in your bag? Oh, you got a little gift from DC Health Link. Okay, see that little t-shirt you have? We would like for you to wear them tomorrow so we can take a group picture with your health care for child care. Because you know, I, I'm serious about this army piece. You're my boots on the ground. You're the health care for child care army. So hold up your t-shirt or make sure you have them. Everybody got one, right? 
Who does not have a t-shirt? Who's got the wrong size? <laughs> okay, how come you don't have a t-shirt? Is that the right size? What size you need? Okay, let Danica know if you got the wrong size so she can get you the right size. Maurice, you don't have, oh, can you get, so he doesn't have a bag, Danica, so he needs a bag. Can you get, okay, thank you. What size t-shirt, uh, Maurice? Large t-shirt for him, right? Thank you. Okay, so if you can wear those tomorrow, we will take a group picture. Now the aprons, the aprons you have are the aprons that we really give to the child care workers in the centers, but if you're cooking at home, you can put on your little apron. But <laughs> Okay, yeah. Okay, and my last housekeeping uh, piece is this. Is that the wrong size? Y'all got the wrong size? Is it the wrong size? No? Yes? Well, Tell her, she'll get you the right size. Okay, so th this is the other thing. There is a box for each grantee group. It's in the, and I, I think I shared this with most of, you, most of you all who I saw on Monday. It's a box out in the hall, about this big. It has a lot of um, promotional items in it that you can use when you go visit to your centers to give away. If you need additional items, which you probably will need, um, just give Danica a call. Uh, email her at danica.wilson at dc.gov. D-E-N-I-C-K dot Wilson at dc.gov. And make arrangements to pick up additional um, gift bags to give when you go out in the field, okay? We go bearing gifts so you can accomplish what you have to do. Okay. All right. Now, Maurice has a bag. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Destiny. W dot Wilson, D D E N I C K A, Danica dot Wilson, at DC dot gov. Okay. And you can also let um, India know. India Clark, stand up. She is. That's our intern. She's handling promotional items for all of healthcare for child care as well. And that's India dot Clark without an E at dc.gov, okay? So your box has in it um, brochures on health care for child care. It also has um, gift bags that you can give when you go out. And um, we should have by tomorrow, Alan, we would have their ID cards, the cards, their ID cards. Well, we'll have them sometime this week because you all were late getting me the names. <laughs> but we will get them to you later this week, okay? So that each of you who are sitting here, that's why it's important for you to hit the sign-in sheet. Who has the sign-in sheet now? This is at somebody's table. Sign-in sheet? Okay, does everybody sign in on the sign-in sheet? Okay, because we need that to, to, um, to juxtapose against your ID cards. Okay, so that's, that's, that's the few little housekeeping tips.